and McCoys here in the state of Colorado. We talk about the Buffaloes and the Rams. It is a Cinch Jeans Rocky Mountain Showdown on a hot and steamy day here in the Mile High City. Great to have you along as college football is once again returned to the front line. One heartbeat on three. One, two, three. One heartbeat. Waist high snap. Hanson drop. Throws it right side. Nick Knight to catch the 35. Cuts inside a ram. First down as he tumbles down to the dirt. He resets a running back. Looks to his left. Delivers out there. Step on the catch. He's got a receiver screen. Bounces up like... Ram defender, and then kind of dog crawls his way out across the 45 to the 46-yard line. The freshman quarterback takes a chest-high snap, retreats, has time in the pocket, looks right, delivers right, catches made, the right flat, and, and grab it. and brought down at the 44-yard line. A beautiful tackle that time by Michael Sapilli. And the shotgun is Thomas, he's got a running back to his right, takes it, the big quarterback, right side gets hit, and knocked down, and denied the first down at the 43-yard line. Holy cow, what a gamble by Steve Fairchild. No gain. It's out of the shotgun, low snap. Takes it off the shoot tops, sets the throw. Now he darts, finds room to run. Weaves his way to his left, running at the 35. Got the first down, running across the 30, the far side. And out of bounds, right near the 25-yard line. And oh man, can number nine run for the quarterback position. Out of the shotgun, ball left hash mark, waist high snap. The junior dumps it over the middle, catches man at the 15. Running at the 10, running at the 5. End zone, touchdown! Touchdown, Colorado! Trey Vaughn Patterson, the USC transfer, with his first catch and first score for the Buffaloes. And CU is on top first in the Cinch Jeans Rocky Mountain Showdown. We are on a big report. Just underway here, second quarter. And the tailback. And Carter is knifed down as he tries to cut it to the left. Great penetration that time by the Colorado Buffaloes. And getting in there was Josh Hardigan. And two tight end formation. Hanson turns left. Hands out to speed. He's got a big hole at the left side. Finds his team across the 40. Out to the 44-yard line. And that time you could have driven a Mack truck it's through the backfield. Hole. Shotgun snap to Hanson. Sets throws. Catches made by Clements. Breaks a tackle to Thomas. And the second wave led by Arakpo comes in and Brings him down, but not until the running back behind him. Here comes the fullback in motion now. Fakes a hand up, hands it with time. Rifles over the middle, plucked out of the air at the 27 yard line. Scotty McKnight had a step on a rack pole and hold it down at the 27. And it's a first down for Colorado. Shot and Rams territory. Shotgun snap to Hanson to throw again. Bears back, rifles at right side. Five yard line. McKnight, the record, and a touchdown. Touchdown, Colorado. Nobody in CU history has caught more balls than Scotty McKnight, and it's 13-0 Buffaloes over the Rams. Start to see his game as well. First and 10 for the 32, drop play, hand up to Carter. Beautiful penetration for the Buffaloes, and getting up in there and hauling Carter down for a loss back at the 29-yard line was Forrest West, the sophomore out of Canton, Connecticut, with a tackle for a loss. The quarterback out of the shotgun, takes the waist high snap, back pedals, sets up, feels pressure from behind, lofts it to the far sideline, and it is picked off by Colorado. Along the far sideline, Sanders Bell was there as he jumped in front of the receiver and came down. Yard line, ball left hash mark, shotgun snap the hands and it'll shovel pass out to Speedy Stewart. He's got room to run. Cuts in the field, breaks a tackle 30, cuts to his right, cuts inside a block by Richardson. Inside the 20, he rumbles down to the 17. And look out when Speedy gets rocking and rolling. You can't catch him, and he gained 27 yards. Oh, very good, straight away. 
28-yard field goal. Kick is up. It is on its way, and it is good. Third down and five now for the Rams for the Buffalo 43. Thomas from behind. Pressure step to his right. Alouz and Anna is picked off as he dumps it to the near side. And Jaleel Brown almost stumbled into that play as he jumped in front of the tight end, Eric Pites. A 37-yard field goal attempt. Ball put down, kick is up, and it's blocked by Colorado, and it's loose, and it's picked up by the Buffaloes. Returning it across the 40 to the 45, out to the 48-yard line. The Buffs got great push up the middle and blocked the kick, and that brings us to the end of a wonderful first half of football by Dan Hawkins, Colorado Buffaloes. Tight end right to fullback. Thomas turns, hands out to the tailback. Carter, a great penetration by that defensive front by the Buffaloes. And that's how there was nothing going there. Josh Harding, a high spiraling punch. Trayvon Patterson takes it to 22. He pirouettes away from a couple of round defenders. Gets a nice block. The wall up the left side, 25, 30 yard line. Steps inside a block, 40, 45 yard line, and finally hit. And he is knocked out of bounds on the near sideline. Kondodiakis, the punter, is the man that got there and finally flung him out of bounds up near the 47. Way in the third, empty backfield. Shotgun snap to Hanson. Sets to throw. Rifles it over the middle. Cephalo the grab and takes a whale of a shot at the 44 yard line. They get penalty yardage back, now back to the strips. Back to the offset eye. Thomas drop away, hands off the Carter, and he finds nothing there. The Buffs run defense. Nick Casa was there for Colorado, along with Tyler Ellis for the Buffaloes. The Buffs run. One running back is Speedy. Hanson to throw. Looks, throws over the middle. Catches made at the 39. From the slot, it was Scotty McKnight. Makes the grab, turns it upfield, sits down between two defenders. And the Buffs the backfield. Hanson under center, turns, play action. Flips on the inner end. Clemens looking for room, cuts inside the block, sidesteps one defender, forward motion across the 30, wow. inside the 25, and he gets hit, knocked out of bounds, right near the 25-yard line. He did that all by himself. Neither team has scored here in the second half. Inside handoff, Speedy Stewart bends it around the corner. He makes a man miss, running at the 25, running at the 20, cuts inside another defender, and then a defender from behind jumps on his back and rides him down at the 15-yard line. Alex Williams is there. And it is just for Speedy. By the way, Sanchez is in the house here today. Screen pass right side. Top by speed at the 15, running at the 10. Leap flugs, stumbles his way forward and goes down after contact at the one yard line. What an athletic play by Speedy Stewart. He took a receiver right is McKnight. Quarterback keeper, Hanson, end zone, touchdown. Touchdown, Colorado. 155 to play in the third, and the Buffaloes have made this a 23-0 advantage over Colorado State in the Rocky Mountain Showdown here at Invesco Field at Mile High. Number 47, now moving right to left here in the fourth. Down 24 nothing, and it's picked off, a pass to the right side, Anthony Perkins saw it coming, read the freshman's eyes, and jumped around and tenant for Matt Yim, and it's a turnover by Colorado State. And that right there, Zim, is a veteran player in the secondary for the Buffaloes, taking advantage of inexperience. Yeah, and finish strong. Second down and a short three. Thomas stands tall in the pocket. Finally, he is grabbed and swallowed up by that bus defense as he tries to step up. They bring him down at the 30-yard line. Loss of three yards early. That kind of a risky decision. Didn't work out for him. They go for a fourth down of one. Thomas grabbed by B.J. Beatty. Nearly escapes and Beatty finally on second effort brings him down way back in the 43-yard line. The second quarterback sack for the Buffs defense in this series. A loss of 14 yards. And we have got ourselves a done deal at Invesco Field at Mile High. The 2010 edition of the Cinch Jeans Rocky Mountain Showdown goes to the Buffaloes. And the Centennial Cup Comes back to Boulder, 24-3 the final, Colorado victorious in this Centennial State Civil War over the rival Rams from up north.